Hey GED students, so um, I got a help request on Facebook again um, from a student, Kaden, who was struggling to write and evaluate um, algebraic expressions. And this can be really tricky for a lot of students, okay? So Kaden, just to let you know, I didn't do the exact problems that you sent me because those are copyrighted by whichever organization made them, but I'm, I wrote some parallel problems that are very similar. So let's take a look. The first one says, the picture show had twice as many patrons on Friday than they had on their Wednesday and Thursday shows combined. Okay, so that's some nice information, but I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Number one says, write an expression to represent the number of patrons on Friday. So they're asking me to write an expression. They're talking about an algebraic expression. So I'm gonna take this phrase up from above and I'm gonna write an algebraic expression with it. And all an expression is, is some combination of numbers operations, and what I'm talking about when I say operations is like plus, minus, yada, 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 you know, multiply, divide, those kinds of things. Um, and, and this is the part that makes students a little wary, uh, variables. We're going to use letters to represent the things we don't know. Okay, so we'll put in numbers if we know numbers. We'll put in operations, what to do with those numbers, and we'll put in variables. Okay, so what are we writing an expression for? We're writing an expression to represent the number of patrons on Friday. So let's go back and look at everything we know about Friday. It said the picture show had twice as many patrons on Friday than they had on their Wednesday and Thursday shows combined. So the idea here is that if you were to combine Wednesday and Thursday, uh, Friday would still have twice as many patrons as that. So let's think about how to do that mathematically. If I wanted to combine the number of patrons on Wednesday and on Thursday, if you're getting confused about that, think about it like it was numbers. Even though it's not, what if it was? Like if you had 50 students or 50 patrons on Wednesday and 50 on Thursday, how would you combine those? Well, you would just add them up. You'd, you'd say, well, 50 plus 50. So we can do the same thing when it's letters. I don't know how many patrons there were on Wednesday. They want me to use the letter W. And then they want me to add that, combine that with the number on Thursday. And they said used a T for that. I can do that. Okay. Now be careful though, because it says the picture show had twice as many patrons on Friday than they had on Wednesday and Thursday combined. So twice as many, what does that mean? That means it wants me to take that answer that I got, this combined number, Wednesday plus Tuesday, and make it twice as much, okay? That's what twice as many means. It means to multiply by two. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use parentheses. Super important that you use, you use parentheses too around W plus T so everybody knows to combine them first. And then I'm gonna shove a two out here against the parentheses to say after you combine them, multiply what you get by two. And what I have here is an expression to represent the number of patrons on Friday. Now, number two, I can use this expression to figure out some information. It says, if there were 200 patrons on Wednesday, so 200 on Wednesday, and 180 on Thursday, so 180 on Thursday, how many were there on Friday? Well, I had already told you how to find how many patrons there were on Friday. That's what this expression was about. It says, if you want to know how many patrons there were on Friday, combine Wednesday and Thursday's numbers and multiply by two. So that's what exactly what I'll do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug these numbers in. I'm going to substitute them in to my expression. So let me write down my expression one more time. Two times W plus T. And now W and T aren't mysteries anymore. I know what they are. I know that Wednesday is 180. Oh no, I lied. Sorry, Wednesday was 200. And I know that Thursday was 180. So I'll plug in 180 where the T used to be, and now I'll just follow my own directions. First I'll combine, I'll do the grouping. So 200 plus 180 is, let's see, 380. And now that I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and multiply it by two, like I said I would, and I would get 760. So 760 for this particular problem on Friday. Okay, wonderful. Let's look at one more example. Okay. Um, next one was said, Jack is five times as old as his daughter and his son's ages combined. And first it says, write an expression to describe Jack's age. So once again, I have the fact that Jack is some number of times, this case, in this case, five times as old, but it's five times as old as what? As his daughter, call his daughter D, and his son, call his son S, 
combined. Well, how did we say we would combine ages? Well, we could just add them. So we'll add D and S together. There they are combined. But Jack is not the age of his children combined. He's five times the age of his children combined. Again, you need parentheses to say to combine first and multiply afterwards. So this is five times all of that. And that right there is an expression that describes uh, Jack's age. And now we see number two is ask, asking you to evaluate that expression for certain numbers. If Jack's daughter D is seven, so D is not a mystery anymore, D is seven. And Jack's son is S, so S is not a mystery anymore, S is two. How old is Jack? Well, we said we'd use this expression to figure out how old Jack is, so let's write it down. And now let's put in what we know. We know that the D is not a mystery, the D is seven. And we know the S is not a mystery, the S is two. And now we can simplify this expression by hand or in our calculator. If I do it by hand, I need to hit the grouping first. Seven times, or seven plus two is nine. And now I can do the multiplication. Five times nine is 45, so Jack is 45 years old. All right, if you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.